All right. So the first one is Contra for the NES, which was done by Heidman. Uh, he got 10 minutes and 16 seconds compared to the old run, which is right here, of uh, 10 minutes and 17 seconds. So only a one second improvement. Um, there's a new strategy though, so he he's actually trying to beat it by more than just a second. He, I think he can beat it by like probably nine seconds or so. He's definitely still working on it. But here's the old run. I just wanted to show you an example of the kind of ability it takes to get a run like this. This is this is probably my favorite run on Speed Demos Archive right now. Um, but I wanted to show you an example of the button mashing involved here. Check this out. Alright, so that's that's at about I would say it's about fifteen seconds. Uh, fifteen uh, button presses a second, which is absolutely insane. Precision to get to get everything done just how it just right is incredible to me. Alright, so the second one that I was interested in was Hank Chen uh, just set a new Donkey Kong record with a score of 1,127,700 points and he beat himself, with his old score was 1,110,100 um, I think there's a misconception that he just uh, because he has nothing nothing better to do better to do than play Donkey Kong all day long well it's insane that he can even uh, beat himself because his scores are so incredible because you you look at the scoreboards and you're like you got alright so this is the current scoreboard you got Hank and you got Billy you got Steve Weeby and Billy Mitchell who are like over 60,000 points below him uh, which is just insane to me Hank's, Hank told me before that he thinks Steve Weeby is the most consistent player, but I, I have to disagree because he, Hank Chen, just keeps upping his score and upping his score. Uh, he has a lot of competition, so I feel like he he's pressured to just keep upping his score, and, he, and he's the only one that can seem to do it, which is incredible to me. Um, he does have some close competitors, such as Dean Saglio. Um, who has 1,167,400 points on MAME, though, uh, which a lot of arcade players don't really compare them. Um, arcade is more prestigious, really, so it's it's kind of hard to compare the MAME and arcade records, but I, I call the arcade record more uh, valid acclaim. All right, and the third one that we what that I wanted to look at was... Uh, Super Mario 64 by Sig Lemmick. He did a 120 star speed run in 1 hour 44 minutes and 52 seconds. Uh, he has been playing all through August. He played July too, and even before that I think too. Um, but mostly August he's been trying to get a 144. And he finally managed it. And it's actually, it's an incredible run. I'm really impressed by it. It's one of the best speedruns ever. I'm, I think I can make that claim. Uh, and I'm sure this is how Sig Lemmick felt after the run. It was really a great run. All, all three of those records were incredible, and they all happened within a pretty close time span of each other, and I thought I'd just share that with you, because these people, some of them don't really get the credit that I think that they deserve. Uh, hopefully I haven't been rambling too much. I'm not all that great at this yet, so maybe I'll improve my skills and make some cooler videos. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.